Hi, this is Brian Brannon, and I'm here today with the co-guest editors of the May 2013 IEEE Computer Magazine special issue on cutting-edge research and visualization. I'm with Teresa Marie Ryan, visualization consultant and editor of IEEE CGNA's Visualization Viewpoints Department and a member of the IEEE Computer Magazine Advisory Panel. Also with Min Chen, Professor of Scientific Visualization in the Oxford E Research Center at the University of Oxford, United Kingdom, and Associate Editor-in-Chief of the IEEE Transactions on Visualizations and Computer Graphics. Welcome. Can you briefly describe the field of computer-generated visualization for our readers? Sure, Brian, I'd be delighted to. Visualization is the transformation of data into visual representations to facilitate gaining insight from that data. In 1987, the National Science Foundation Panel on Graphics, Image Processing, and Workstations published a landmark report entitled Visualization in Scientific Computing. This set out the vision for developing visualization as a scientific field. Over the past 25 years since then, the field of visualization has significantly broadened its horizon and now encompasses three major subfields. They are scientific visualization, information visualization, and visual analytics. There are also many domain-specific areas, such as geo-information visualization, biological data visualization, software visualization, and the list continues on. This special issue offers a great opportunity for the broad IEEE computer readership to gain further insight into research and advances of the visualization community. Was there a particular objective for this special issue on cutting edge research and visualization? Our core four papers for this particular issue and for the articles uh, which we hope will address a visualization research topic in regard to what could or would or should uh, have been achieved in the next five years, 10 years, or 15 years. And this involved reflections on how a research topic has evolved over the last 25 years, as well as projection on what might develop or evolve in the future. We have particularly encouraged articles that featured scenario-based vision statements, insights for analysis of feasibility and the major obstacles and expected paradigm shifts as well as foresight on roadmaps and expected impacts on science, technology, and the society. Six articles were selected from 14 submissions. Each submission were reviewed by three or four experts in the topic area, and we wish to thank all authors of these 14 submissions. We are very appreciative for the extraordinary contribution made by the 44 expert reviewers. Can you briefly summarize the six papers in the special issue? Yes, we can, Brian. Uh, the first paper focuses on advances in large area displays and the changing face of visualization. In this paper, the authors provide a survey of visualization displays over the past couple of decades and explore the potential displays for the future. From displays, we move to software development for the second paper entitled Research Challenges in Visualization Software. The authors examine how visualization software framework have evolved over the last 25 years and present upcoming challenges in visualization software development in regards to massive parallelization, emerging process architectures, application architectures, and data management, data models, rendering, and interaction. The third paper is entitled Storytelling, the Next Step for Visualization. They also review the literature on storytelling and propose that the use of storytelling elements is the next logic step beyond exploration and analysis in visualization research. So for our fourth paper, we focus on interaction paradigms. It is entitled, Reimagining the Interaction Paradigm for Scientific Visualization. Here the authors take us on a journey of natural, physical, spatial, human-computer interfaces and propose future uses of these interfaces for exploring visualization in science, 
engineering art and the humanities. Our fifth paper discusses improving wellness and health care with interactive visualization tools. The author steps into the use of interactive information visualization and visual analytics methods for personal wellness programs, professional health care delivery, and public health policy making. Our sixth and final paper examines visual analytics for social media data. The authors explore how visual analytics methods can aid in trend analysis for marketing, opinion analysis, demographics, and civil protection of social media services such as Twitter, Flickr, and Newsblog. Is there any multimedia content for the special issue? Yes, Brian, we're really excited about the fact that we have content associated with four papers in the issue. Uh, the video content includes uh, presentations associated with advances in large data displays, the changing of the face of visualization, re-imaging the interaction paradigm for scientific visualization, improving wellness healthcare with interactive visualization tools, and finally, the visual anal analytics for social media data. We hope that our, our readers will look at the IEEE computer website to see this multimedia content and to enjoy it. They can also see it on the YouTube site at youtube.com slash IEEE Computer Society. Do you have any final comments for our readers? We hope this special issue might inspire readers to contribute to visualization research directly or at least to start a collaboration with visualization research. Theresa Marie and Min, thank you so much for taking the time to discuss the special issue on visualization research. Thank you for this opportunity to share our vision. And thank you, Brian, and, and of course my colleague Min. We had a terrific time putting this special issue together, and we hope our readers will enjoy it.